What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jesse and this is video five in my bungalow renovation series. Today we're going to be doing what's called overboarding. Not kicking somebody off a pirate ship. Uh, no, this is putting drywall on a ceiling and we're going to be using quarter inch drywall, really thin drywall to go directly over the top of a plaster ceiling. Uh, this is a lot less messy than ripping down the plaster first because and you got to haul off all the plaster, the lath, everything. You may cause more problems if you're ripping it down. So I'm just going to go right over top um, with quarter inch drywall. So let's go ahead and get into that process. It's drywall day. So the ceiling is mostly plaster and lath. Um, so right above here is all uh, plaster and lath. And then there's some directly above my head. There's some new drywall that I'm going to tie into. And then in the kitchen, that's all been removed. There's some insulation and I'll be just uh, putting drywall up on the joists up there. So first step today was going into the attic and drilling holes through the plaster ceiling. I'll show you that in a second. You see those there. Drilling holes next to the ceiling joists to locate them. And I came down and put screws in and uh, marked each joist. I'll show you how I did that. All right, looking at the living room ceiling, the, the process I'm going to do is called overboarding, and that's where I take quarter inch drywall, typically you use half inch for, for a new install. So you, I'm going to put up half of that thickness, a quarter inch drywall over top of the plaster ceiling. And the challenge is you have to locate the, the joists because you need to screw into those for the maximum support. So to do that, I went up in the attic with my drill, with the biggest drill bit, and went next to each of the joist and sent the screw or I sent the drill head through there, the drill bit right through the ceiling and it made these holes all the way down. There's the last one. And then again on the other end of each. And then I came back with some drywall screws next to each hole. So see this hole here that went right next to the joist. So I moved over three quarters of an inch and sent a screw into the middle of it. Here, 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 all the way down this side. And then I came back with a chalk line, tied it onto the screw, and pulled it tight across the ceiling to mark these lines. So now I have lines, hopefully you can see those, they're kind of faint. Uh, now I have lines to mark each joist and I know exactly where the screws need to go into. Not an easy process, not a quick process, but it's important so that the drywall has the maximum holding power. All right, first item of business with this drywall on the ceiling job is I need to cut a clean line here. There's some damage to this panel, so I need to cut a clean line that will land right on a ceiling joist so that I can start my rows here and run them that way. Uh, and it'll make this seem a lot easier to conceal once I'm done. show you the seam I just cut right here across the drywall so I've got both edges are gonna hit that ceiling joist all the way across so I'll put in screws into this one and then I'll start a new one right here and put screws into it and run it across the ceiling but I'm gonna go get lunch while this dust settles and I'll be back shortly it's time to get started with the drywall. I've got quarter inch drywall that I'm going to put over top of this plaster ceiling. I'm going to go ahead and load a sheet up onto the drywall lift and get it pushed into place over here in this corner and we'll get to going, get screwed it in.
wall sheets are done on the living room ceiling. They obviously need to be finished, but they're all up there. Let's see if you can get a better view. That's where it transitions to the existing drywall. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. Now, next up is this. So I've already cut this line here flush, and I'm gonna start putting drywall up on the ceiling there. Ceiling drywall is in. Kitchen. And the living room. So now we have one continuous flow of ceiling all the way through. Now I've got to put can lights up in the ceiling. I'm going to do one, two, three in here, and then a couple rows of two or three in the living room, and a kind of a statement fixture where that little bulb is sitting on the ceiling there to define the dining area, and that'll be in an upcoming video. Next order of business is going to be to get this kitchen decked out with drywall, and I've already got the cabinet design figured out, so it's going to be galley style. There'll be a run of cabinets here sink in the middle dishwasher and then on the other side we're going to have fridge in that corner uh, oven range right there microwave here where that outlet is and kind of a big uh, pantry style closet right there or a cabinet in the back there so i've got to get the drywall on the walls and this will start looking more like a room instead of an insulation box <laughs> That's a wrap for this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, seeing those ceilings come together. Uh, we got the quarter inch drywall all across the living room ceiling and then the half inch drywall in the kitchen and on some of the walls. It's really neat to see it start to take shape. Um, looks a lot cleaner now that everything's starting to tie in together and uh, I just I love seeing this part of the process. So if you're enjoying that, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. The next video, we're actually going to finish out those kitchen walls. It's going to start to look like an actual room rather than just an insulation box. So be sure you're subscribed for that. Go ahead and give us a like if you like this content. Uh, it helps out that YouTube algorithm and, and really just boosts this channel up. Uh, it means a lot if you're, uh, if you're willing to do that. And then just leave us a comment below. Let us know what you like, what you're, uh, what you're into here in this series. Um, and what you'd like to see as we move forward.
Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.